1985 Ford Fiesta. So this is obviously the Mark II shape. Uh, this is a 1.1 petrol, um, but it is in gear trim, which uh, is quite unusual for a 1.1. Obviously, normally you see that on the, the higher end ones. This one was driven to us. It's in lovely condition. We're going to start by having a look at the bodywork. If we look on this front driver's side and look down the side, you'll see it's all nice and straight. Panel gaps are good. Start on this front driver's wing. It's all nice and tidy there. We do have a little bit of excess paint there on the arch, which could do with being polished off. Uh, it does have a good Toyo tire on the front and the correct hubcap. Obviously the correct gear badging. Moving down on this driver's door. That's all nice and straight. There's no dents or marks or scratches or anything in that. Along the lower portion of the sill, that's all good. No sign of any damage there or any corrosion or anything like that. Around the lock and the handle is all nice and straight. It is um, on the correct etched glass windows with the plates in it. All of them are correct on this side, but we'll check as we go around. So they're all three correct. This rear uh, quarter and wing is all lovely and solid. Another good wheel with a tyre proxy on it again. Or tyre tyre, sorry. Have a look at the roof from this point as well. Nice and straight, not covered in any dent or anything like that. you got a little bubble just here, as you can see, uh, and a mark from the sunroof on the edge that one's cleaned up. But around the actual ceiling, everything's all nice and dry. We have washed this, so it's been covered in, in water. There's no sign of any moisture getting in or anything like that. Onto the rear, this lower end, it's all nice and tidy. The bumpy, bumper sits straight and even. You've got a little mark in the paint there, and you've got another one just down there. Around the rear screen, it's all tidy. There's no sign of any corrosion or anything around there. It's nice colour, this as well. Um, and again, on, the, on this rear glass, correct etching for the plate. So that's the original supply and dealer. We've got the sticker and we've got it on the veg plates as well, which is nice. The passenger side again, looking down at nice and straight. Panel gaps are good. It's rear quarter. Okay. Another solid arch, another good wheel with a Toyo tire. And the front is the same. So we've got four matching Toyo tires, which is always a good sign of ownership. And we'll have a look at the roof from this side, nice and straight. No sign of any sort of build up or anything in the in the, the gutters and things around the window around this point here which can always be a problem area is all good same as around the filler cap this lower section and the sill all lovely and straight and tidy passenger door no signs of any marks or anything on that on this front wing you do have a little chip just in the uh, top of the wing there from a stone or something I would guess and this arch again nice and solid a good solid car moving around up the front all the headlights are nice and clean, nice and clear, no cracks or any damage to those. Bumper sits straight and everything like that. And this lower bit, nice and tidy as well. Bonnet itself, not covered in dints or marks or anything. Virtually no stone chips at all. Around this gutter and everything is all nice and clean, nice and, nice and straight, as you can see. Have a look at the interior. So blue outside, blue inside. Nice tidy door card there. Driver's seat, it's all nice and straight. No sign of anywhere at all there. This is just a bit of light on the camera. If we move it around, you'll see it sort of changes. So, yeah. so no sign of anywhere there at all, really good. Rear bench, lovely and clean, lovely and tidy. It's the first one of these we've had in for a long time. It doesn't have a very faint smell of cigarette smoke, but it's no smell at all in here, really good. Headlining's lovely, especially around the sunroof where they can sometimes get a bit of damp or a bit of staining, that's really good. 66,000 miles on this one, four speed. Heated screens and things, obviously with a bit of gear. We're gonna need that Keith, we're gonna have a look in the boot. And again, you've got your correct parcel shelf. Got some spare hope caps there and a bit of trim just in case. And what have we got there? A couple of spare brake hoses. Some rear tail lights, just things that have been collected over the years, along with some uh, some extra spares there. We'll move this all out of the way and have a look at the boot floor. So it's the important bit, as you know. It's been there, all lovely and clean. Obviously, you've got this cover in there. It's the same story under here. All nice and tidy, nice and straight. Just what you want to see.
and then passenger side. Okay, and that, like I say, that rear bench doesn't look like it's ever really been set on. Same goes for most of the seats we do, they're really, really good. All nice and clean, the dash top is good. Steering wheel shows no real sign of any wear either. It does have a aftermarket JVC head unit fitted in there with Bluetooth and all that kind of stuff. Have a look under the bonnet. So inner wings and all these panels are lovely and clean, lovely and tidy. Just what you'd want to see. The underside of the bonnet is all good as well. Engine itself shows no sign of any sort of oil leaking out of it or anything like that. It's been parked here for a couple of days. There's nothing dropping out underneath it. We'll get it started up. It's been with us for about two weeks. It was driven here. It always starts on the button. Give it a little bit of choke there. And then, like I say, fires straight up. Really happy little engine. No sign of any smoke or anything coming out of the back. Like I say, it was driven here. It's always started and done everything we wanted it to do. So there you have it, 1.1 Mark II Fiesta gear. If you've got any questions or any more inquiries, please get in touch, we'll be happy to help. Thank you.